As the country grapples with the ongoing fentanyl crisis, Maryland now has a first-of-its-kind law that aims to save lives by requiring hospitals to test for fentanyl when they do a toxicology report. And Fox 5's Jacqueline Matter joins us live now with the details. Jacqueline? Well, guys, that bill is known as the Josh Symes Act. Josh died last year from a fentanyl overdose on his 31st birthday, but the drug never showed up in his system because many hospitals aren't testing for it. But now that's all about to change in just a few short months. Josh Symes spent hours in the hospital after an apparent overdose with his girlfriend, Melanie Yates, by his side. The doctors eventually came in and said, the swelling in his brain would be too much and that he wouldn't survive it. Doctors say fentanyl didn't show up in Josh's system, but Yates says that's because he was never tested for it. Now, just seven months after his death, a grieving girlfriend is turning her loss into law. Um, this frankly should not have been possible to get through how it did and how quickly it did. And now his name is law and I think this law will help people live and get a second chance at life. As of right now, most hospitals only test for what is known as the Federal Five, which consists of marijuana, cocaine, amphetamines, PCP, and opiates. Moving forward, hospitals will have to screen for fentanyl in patients with a known or suspected overdose. State Delegate Joe Vogel sponsored the bill and says it also goes a step further, requiring hospitals to report that data to the state. I went to a hospital uh, not far from here in Montgomery County. They have already seen an uptick in, fentanyl, in positive fentanyl test results as a result uh, of testing. The new law will be the first in the region and second in the country behind California, and there's hope it could also help address a bigger problem. Patients with suspected drug overdoses, only 5% of them are being tested for fentanyl in hospitals. And of those tests, close to 50% are coming back positive, which means we are significantly undercounting fentanyl cases uh, in our state and really across the country. Which could lead to a clearer picture on the number of overdose deaths directly related to fentanyl. It is going to be devastating to see that uptick, but we have to know the truth. We have to know just how serious this crisis is, and we have to have that accurate, timely data from across the state. And with fentanyl being the leading cause of overdose deaths in the state of Maryland, Yates hopes her partner's death won't be in vain. I really just think that he knew he was meant to make something more of his life, um, and at least in this way, he is. Now, Vogel tells us he did get unanimous support on this bill with every single Republican and Democrat voting in favor. The bill will take effect on October 1st. Yates tells us she's hoping to take a similar bill like this to the federal level. Back to you.